these big pontoons you can see out in front of you were hanging below that and if you look at this one across the way you see some square baskets on the end in those baskets below the water are eating crabs and the boats bring them in they pull the baskets up and they put the crabs in the baskets before they go to market and this is where we're fishing right off the harbour wall basically and as you can see there's a couple of locals down there as well so it's quite a popular area so as I pan back around past these pontoons oh, but where that wall is over there there's a couple of inlet pipes down below there's three or four that goes into a pool above it and that's hail pool over there so what we might do here is fish a tide in so far then walk around and fish the pool and then fish it coming out all we can do is try guys can't guarantee there's any fish lots of silver flashes in the water but that'll be the mullet and hopefully once the tide starts to push in and it's just starting to make its way in now it's about half seven in the morning low tide was at six it's the neatest of neat tides actually starts building from tomorrow so maybe all week down here would be a good time to fish but as I say we're only here for a day a day's lazy fishing you got a nice take there Mike? I have mate, I threw a back I think it's a back anyway I think it's goody no he's got a gilt head brain I've got a gilt? gilt head? yeah oh Mike's off with Mark with a gilt nice and slow Mike have you got a net? No, Alright, just go steps. down, gently walk down the steps, go under my line mate, you'll be fine. Here he comes, Mike's got a lovely little gilt. That's a tidy size mate as well. Fight beautiful, doesn't they? What? Oh, he's off. Don't worry, Robbie's gone. He's gone, Rob. He's and lost him. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. know. And that was all what, crab? Right, good news is, we're into the fish. This is the third time that Mike has hit a gilt. One of them, he had his uh, drag set too loose and it just spun the spool around. Now he's got a tidy fish on by the look of it. So we'll see if we can get it coming through the water. But certainly giving him a bit of a fight, which is good. Still on there, mate? Keep the line tight. Down. Yeah, I can see him. Oh, he's a nice one. He's all right. Here he comes. Nice gilt head breed. Beautiful. Look at that. Can I borrow your net, mate? Can I borrow your net? If it's possible. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> There's a couple of local anglers here, they own this big trawler in front of us, but uh, they're doing a bit of gilt fishing today, they've got a day off I think, but he's coming to Rob's rescue. Keep his head up Mike. And we got him. So I lost one there. Three times it's landed the same bait. Yeah. Come on, Mike. Watch this one. <laughs> you can get a photo of that one there, Nick. Yeah, yeah I will. Yeah, Mike, what yours do? I will. Thanks for lending me that, mate. No worries. Nice fish. Yeah, tidy fish, Michael. Well done, Michael. Well up. Lovely up. Let's have a look mate, see Let's where he's hooked, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Okay, this is Mike from Seacast Leads. This is first gilt head. Look at the coloration here, that's absolutely awesome. But lovely fish mate, absolutely oh, cracker. Yeah. So, well please. To say it slammed your rod over mate, yeah. would be... Um, <laughs> An understatement, would you say? Yeah, third time lucky though. <laughs> Lost one, 
he hit, he hit the bait three times. So, yeah, got you, you little bugger. Well done, mate. Well, there you have it, guys. Look at this tiny gilt head bream, roughly about three and a half pound, Michael. Yeah, I'll say about that. We'll get yeah. in a minute. Yeah, we'll wait a minute. I've got scales as well. All right. Um, caught on what bait? Crab. How far out? Probably about halfway between here and the. Uh, I don't know what you call that. Is that crab pops? Yes. So, uh, yeah. And just tell us what it was like well, it, it when the rod went. <laughs> three times. I missed it twice, and then on the third time, yeah, I managed to hook him. So he was obviously staying around, he knew his dinner was coming back. <laughs> so, yeah, Beautiful fish, mate. Happy. Beautiful fish, well done. Okay, that's a nice start to the session. Been half an hour has gone of the incoming tide. Mike set a nice fish. We weighed it, it's three pound three ounces. He's put it back, bless him, which is good. Bleeding a little bit, but it swam off. So it just goes to show how robust these fish are. So we're going to carry on now. Mike got that on crab, and he was using the. Um, what rig was it? Uh, running ledger. Running ledger rig. So um, I've got a different rig on and I think Rob's got a different rig on but it really don't matter if a fish are there they'll find the bait. So that was caught on crab that one. So we've got crab, lug and rag for bait. So we're going to carry on now. Mike's hoping to get another one but didn't it smash his rod over. Bang! Such a rod. Unbelievable. And that happened to him twice before which he lost the fish. We don't know if it's the same one, it might be, it might not be, but we know that Gil Ed Bream are coming in, which is a good sign. Oh, look at the colours on this one, Robert. Hold them up, Michael. Look at that, what a beautiful looking fish. Yeah, so not only do we get the Gil Ed Bream, Scooty Bass, the guys over there have caught, but we get a bit of Rass as well. Me and Rob's had some, well, not even worth talking about. The way to do it, Mike, is take a firm grip. He's got his new tool here. There you go, piece of cake. Up, oh, got a nice little rat on here. Look at that little beauty there, look. Whoa. <laughs> nice fish, mate. Thank you very much, sir. Right, let's get this one on up, then put back. Don't want to keep my water too long. I certainly don't want to weigh him. Good job, he, good job he went in the water, right, now watch him, he'll go belly up for a while, then he'll recover. There he goes, tail's flapping. There he goes, he's recovered. Straight down. Oh. Yeah. It's just swam off under the boat, absolutely brilliant. Okay guys, I just want to run through something with you. We've come here today and we've been picking up lots of litter which has just been discarded around where we're fishing. So we've bagged quite a bit of it up. A lot of Coke cans, well it's a Budweiser one actually, I thought it was a Coke can. Crisp bags, uh, baked paper, squib boxes, etc, etc. But you know what it's like, you've got to try and clean up, try and educate people, even though there's no one here to watch us doing it. Hopefully that when other anglers come along, they'll see that it's nice and clean and they'll keep it the same way. So, uh, yeah, that's about it really. Rubbish collection. What's mine? No, I haven't. I think mine's grass. Yeah, mine is. <laughs> Straight in it was. <laughs> One grass. I'm amazed. Oh, double picture. Come here, you two. Come together. <laughs> cool. The minute it hit the water. 
They're hungry. Rag, rag. I rag, think. In it. Uh, crab. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Crab and rag. Crab and rag. Oh. oh. It's all right. They'll survive when they go back. Yeah. They go belly up and then they swim off. Awesome. So how many is that, guys? You've had. I've had three rats. I've had six now, I think. And two gill heads, one caught, one, one, one lost. One, one dropped off, yeah. There we go. Watch them. Go belly up. And the tails will switch and tip. Oh, there they go. Almost Set together. Oh, look at that. Almost Amazing. together. Beautiful to see that. Oh, oh, I think it's a rock lift. Mm. Yeah, some sort of rock. Cool. He's pop that up there, isn't he? Yes. Well, it's not my favourite kind of... Oh, I must raise it up coming there. Oh, he's got it right down there. Is he like a little sleeve slug? Yeah, coming out. Nah, he's like a rockling kind of thing. Oh, yeah, you got him, mate. Uh, look at that one, look. It's a fat that's little bugger, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is a little rockling, isn't he? Yeah, beauty. Look at the fins on him as well. Yeah, look, at, oh, look at the oh, speed that went! Done. This wall here, there's five slots in that wall, all the way along. And the water you just seen going over that little weir goes under this pier and out through here. And this is where we've moved to over this side. So we're hoping that anything that's gone in there will come back out. <laughs> 